Hi, I'm Mark Cruz of Nikon Canada, here to tell you what's new about the new Nikon D4. First of all, the camera sports a brand new 16 megapixel CMOS sensor, which is powered by the XSpeed 3 processing engine. This gives the camera a broad ISO range, starting at a base of 100 ISO, expandable all the way up to a high 4 of 200, 4,800 ISO, shattering previous standards and giving users of this camera ultimate creative control. The camera now has an increased buffer capacity, allowing you to shoot up to 200 consecutive frames at continuous high speed, now at 10 frames per second with continuous autofocus throughout. If we look at the ergonomics of the camera, there have been several new improvements. First of all, new subselectors have been employed both in the horizontal and vertical positions for ease of use and accurate autofocus point control. The LCD screen has been increased in size to 3.2 inches and now sports a wider color gamut for accurate viewing. The live view switch here at the bottom has two dedicated options, one for stills and one for video and the record button is now placed logically next to the shutter release for practical operation. Now one of the big improvements I really like about the D4 is the fact that the vertical grip is a much more confident and refined feel to it. And they've done this by doing a couple of things. First of all, they've moved the AF on button over here to the left and it mirrors exactly what you get when you have the camera in the horizontal position. Addition, in addition to that, they've added a brand new function button here at the top that mirrors exactly what you have either with the exposure compensation button or the mode button. This can be programmed in your custom functions. Now, the side of the camera will reveal a couple of new ports. Now, this accessory port here allows you to attach a brand new accessory, the Nikon WT5 wireless transmitter. This transmitter is twice as fast as the previous model. And in addition, the Ethernet port built right into the camera is going to give you multiple networking options, as well as triggering the camera remotely from either an iPad or an iPhone. The middle ports here reveal a microphone input as well as a headphone jack which will allow you to monitor your audio as you're recording your movies. And what really blows me away is the fact that Nikon has um, enhanced this HDMI port. Now not only does it export your signal to an external monitor if you wanted to monitor your video or stills or live view from the LCD screen on a separate monitor, but as well as a clean, uncompressed signal to an external recording device. Now if we look at the back of the camera here, I'm going to reveal this card door here that will show you two memory card slots. The secondary one is the compact flash and the primary one is the brand new XQD standard which allows for faster writing speeds as well as higher capacities. All these new features combined expand the creative possibilities for photography and video professionals. For more information, check out Nikon.ca.